The question is, is fitness culture worth it? Or should you just go get a trainer? Or should you just do it on your own? All right, so to start my year long challenge, I decided that I needed to find a workout program that I knew that was gonna help me jumpstart into my fitness journey. Basically get me back on track, have workouts that are planned, and just basically be able to just follow something that I can mindlessly just follow and not have to think about it because the more resistance I have when I go back to the gym about what workouts I'm gonna do, it kind of just deters me. So luckily for me, Fitness Cultures decided to put out an eight week fall fitness challenge it's awesome for two reasons one because I've wanted to try fitness culture app for a long time it's just not bodybuilding or it's just not normal what you get in a workout it's very athletic base which obviously I want to do I want to be able to move while being stronger and so I felt I felt like fitness culture was gonna be the right road to take but the thing is that fitness culture app is kind of pricey to me when I first looked at it I believe it's $50 and I'll put it down here exactly how much it is so because of this challenge he decided to just put it for $50 and you got fitness culture for those full eight weeks so basically I got a month free by doing this challenge and two it literally went in line with when I needed to start so I figured if I was gonna try it now's the time and so I did it I signed up now the first thing that you're gonna do is obviously put in your weight put in all your measurements put in your information and then put in your goals so if you want to lose weight if you want to maintain weight or if you want to bulk you'll put in those goals how fast you want to do it your goal weight and what you need to do okay so that's the first thing that you'll need to do and then after that you'll need to pick a program you can either do six days a week or four days a week. He also has options for at home and garage. So if you don't have access to a gym or if you don't like going to the gym, uh, he also has beginner friendly workouts. And then right here, as you can see, the workouts that he has are called dad bod. Uh, he has drive 12 week bench programs. And then he has the challenge programs, which is what he does every kind of season. So he has these ones that you can go back and work those challenges as well. So it will be like a weekly, weekly challenge for you. On the four day a week, because I work out four days a week. So I would love to go to the gym seven days a week, six days a week. But with my schedule, I know I can maintain four days a week. So I'm not trying to put myself in a position where I'm missing days and I'm getting upset about myself and I'm frustrated because I'm not getting to the gym. Four days is something I can maintain. It's something that I can stick with. So I'm doing four days a week. So with the four days a week, he has the swole program. He has the lean program, the tone program. I decided to do the lean program. So that's what I'm doing. So the lean program, he goes in and tells you exactly what it's for. You do four days a week. It's designed to help shed body fat while maintaining muscle and strength throughout the process. So it tells you who's it for, what to expect in your workouts, and the equipment required. So you can actually look at the equipment and see if you have it or something that you can utilize before you decide to go about it. So once you pick your program, the first week is just a test week. So you'll test your bench, you'll test your squat. And the coolest thing about it is you'll put them into your personal records. What is your one rep max and what you can do. When you go in to do your workout the next time, you'll actually have it so it's percentages. So he'll say you need to do 80% of your one rep max. You need to do 80% of that six times. And instead of trying to figure it out like, okay, so I can do 100, 100 bench press and I need to do 80%. So that's, I mean, that's easy, obviously, in that sense. But what's even easier is that he actually goes in and he'll put the weights in for you. He'll tell you exactly what your weight needs to be. So you, it takes out the guesswork. Today we did six sets. We had to do 80%. 85%, 90%, 95%, and then we went back down to 90%, and then we had to do 82.5%, which is kind of difficult when you're at the gym and you don't have like those weird in-betweeners, but we get as close as we possibly can with it. And that is probably the coolest thing that I've seen in an app so far that I've used, is having the percentage and one rep max in here so I don't have to guess of where I'm at. Also, you can see full history, and you can see every time that you've done the workout and where you're at, how many reps you've done, how, many, how much weight you put in there so you can stick with it. So instead of having to write everything down, it's all in your app. The next thing that you get to do after you choose your program is you go in and you set your macros. 
Now the macros, you'll do your goal. Obviously, like I said, you'll put in your, your weight now, your goal weight of what you're trying to do, how you feel, and it will give you your macros. So it'll give you protein, carbs, fat, and your total calories for that week. But the cool thing is, I mean, you can go to any macro calculator and figure that out. Like they have them everywhere. But the best thing about this is he actually has meals on here. So you can generate an auto meal plan for yourself and it will give you the exact grams that you need of each food for each meal. So mine has breakfast, lunch, meal three, and dinner. And it will tell me how much of my oatmeal I need, oatmeal. how much of my canned chicken, brown That's rice, good. butternut squash. And obviously if you don't want that stuff or maybe you don't have that stuff, you have other things you can change that you would just have to track those macros for yourself but i like the fact that he has it on here already that this is this is my biggest challenge when it comes to getting back into the gym and weight loss and and trying to get back into the routine it it's my food it's my food so this right here was a huge game changer so final question all right we are coming to the close of the eight week challenge here and you want to know if fitness culture is for you. Maybe you, you want to try it. Maybe you've been looking at it. Maybe you've never heard about it, but now that you've heard about it, maybe it's something that is now on your radar. Is fitness culture for you? To me, I think it's worth the money. The kind of workouts, the kind of programs he offers, the food, the macro counting, the tech that goes into your workouts as far as having your goals on there, having your one rep maxes on there, having that all laid out for you, having a workout every day and knowing exactly what you're doing, knowing what you're doing for your cardio is is a hundred percent worth it. For me, this program has been amazing. I absolutely love it. I am gonna continue on with it going forward. After this eight week challenge, I'm just gonna pay the $50 and keep it going. I really, really enjoyed it. Until I get tired of it or until I find something different, I am gonna stick with the Fitness Culture app. And I think you should try it out. Honestly, I do. I think um, what it has to offer for, for especially people that used to be athletes, I think it, it offers something pretty amazing. The workouts aren't boring. They're not tedious. Um, they, he changes it up. He does a deloading week. He does like, there's just so many things. And I think it's worth it in the end to do this. So eight weeks, we're coming to the close of eight weeks. My first eight weeks back working on this challenge. I feel great. I feel better in my clothes. I feel like some of my clothes are getting loose. I'm feeling better about my body. You got, have energy. I'm drinking tons of water. Um, and I'm enjoying it. Hope this is inspiring you to get into it. You don't have to wait for the new year. You don't have to wait you know, for Monday or anything, just get started. The, the sooner you get started, the sooner you get into a routine and the more you use things that are make it less resistant for you to get started, the more likely you're gonna continue with it. So hopefully it continue this momentum, this progress, and it's something that will at the end be something amazing. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping. And I, I hope you guys all have a great holiday. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you guys all hit your goals. I hope you guys all have fun. And yeah, I'm, I'm very excited of how this has all started so far. Wait, turn around because your backpack matches too. Oh, 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 oh.